as Oibo Rebel, Farai's Bolos came into Nigeria when he was just five years old. Now, over the years, he has immersed himself into the Nigerian culture. Think about it. Imagine a white boy speaking Yoruba fluently. And not just Yoruba, he gives us some deep pigeon. Guys, he is a dancer, he's an actor, and above all, he is a musician. Join me in welcoming the one and only Oibo Rebel. Yay! Welcome to East Central. I I'm so excited. Now, the ginger that Oibo Rebel brings right here, like he's been making me laugh. Even Welcome to East Central Yay, Exclusive. High five. Thank you. Benvenue you are set emission. How are you doing? Mm, and you so know, when I heard so that, you know, you're, you are from the French background, uh -huh. that was, I was even more excited. But how are you doing? Ça va. I, I, and I know that you had a... <laughs> And they can't say, come, we, come, we must come, talk come. about why you love, you know, the Nigerian language and all that. But before that, I know that you came to Nigeria when you were just five years old, yeah. very little. Yeah. But can you remember some of the, you know, some of the experiences you had when you came to Nigeria at that age? How was it like ah, for you? That Thursday where I reached Lagos like this, just they, they come out from playing, bah, the heat will just be hitting you. <laughs> you will not say, ah, you don't reach new place, so mm. this place is not like no other. Because mm. I used to be, I was in Yankee, you know, I've been the Yankee yeah. for a long time. I know you so. were in Texas as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, you know, it was a, definitely a shock now as a small boy, you know, mm. coming from, from a place of, uh, of luxury, of, of sanity, or <laughs> where everything is just moving smoothly, yeah. you know. You come to Lagos, everything is just mm. rough, you yeah. know, especially during that time. But being in Nigeria at such an early age, what are some of the things that it taught you? What are some of the lessons that you learned from that? Uh, definitely to, to be humble, you know, to understand that you have to be grateful for everything you get from this life because it's not promised for everyone and people in Nigeria, they are the happiest people in the world, they are happy with, with their lives, you know, and uh, you see other places in the world where they have what we call first world problems, yeah. you know, people will be complaining about nonsense. And in Nigeria, you know, there's so much to complain about but people are living their lives every day and going by, you know, and thanking God for, for every minute. And people, when, if not for your color, mm. everyone would think that you're a Nigerian when you speak. What is it about the Nigerian language that, you know, just got you hooked to it? Because you came here when mm. you were five, you've been here yeah. for a long time and mm. over. What was it about the language that, you know, made you fall in love with it? Of course, you know that uh, pidgin, at least, is just the way of, you have to not cruise, not the way of holding yourself, not the packaging, you know. When you did this Lagos like this, you know, if you can't do for nothing for anybody, if you can't do it, See, guy, you don't go find your way. But not so even Pigeon language. I've, I've been on your Instagram. I've seen Yoruba. you speak Yoruba. Yeah, yes. And that is what really amazes me, because you speak Yoruba more than even some Yoruba people in Nigeria. No, no, so, you cannot so, say that one. No, you... I'm I, trying, see, I'm I know trying. a guy. I know a guy here. <laughs> Shout out to you, Sam Dandy. You speak better Yoruba Shy, than him. I don't need that one, of course. <laughs> Sam Dandy, I don't need that you, one. You speak better Yoruba than him. So, <laughs> you know, not? how how was it like for you? How were you able to it's learn not easy. so fast? It's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, obviously, growing up, mm. you learn some, some Yoruba left, right, and center, you know, because you are in Lagos, mm. Yoruba, you know, this is the house of Yoruba, the mm. land of Yoruba people. So you have to get accustomed to it. Mm. It's very, you know, very important, very vital because yeah. your Yoruba culture, mm. even now, I just finished a play uh, mm. by Wole Shoyinka, yeah, definitely talk about which that. was uh, definitely King's Horseman, yeah. which is about, you know, Yoruba indigenous tribe mm. uh, and the way that there was a clash between the cultures with the British. Anyways, yeah. for me, the language is the mo one of the most beautiful languages in the world. Yeah. I know you're a dancer. Mm. I've seen some videos of you giving mm. us some dance steps. Okay, if you were not in Nigeria, if you were in Lebanon, do you think that you, you could have done everything that you're doing? Uh, so I, 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 I lived in uh, London because mm. I'm French. I'm mm. uh, French and American by yeah. passport. So I would took advantage of that over mm. my years to live in Los Angeles okay. for three years and then to live in London for six. And mm. I, I took a fully ad, full advantage mm. to do from classes, to courses, mm. to workshops. So, so you actually prepared yourself for this? Very much so. Okay. And then... And why was Nigeria your place? Why did you feel like, okay, I've learned a lot, let me come and put it 
you know, in Nigeria. Nigeria is my home, so okay. it's it is where I'm based, mm -hmm. and it's where I've been always based. My permanent address mm -hmm. is here, yeah. in Lagos, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Where I'm from is Lagos. Yeah. You know, when so, if somebody say, but you are Lebanese, I say, no, I'm not Lebanese mm -hmm. because I know they speak my language. I never live for Lebanon. <laughs> now Lagos where I live. <laughs> so what you won't tell me. Mm. Yeah, by, but, but, but let's talk it's about not your by choice even okay, like I know. my country. Yes, yeah, <laughs> well let's talk about your parents. Yeah. You know, when they see all these things you do, you speak the Yoruba language, you're wearing the Agwada on Instagram and oh I'm sure you put smiles on their faces, but what is their take on it? They love it now. Mm. They know you know, it's I've always been known in mm. the community, let's say Lebanese or in both mm. community as the crazy mm. child, you know, the one that is just standing yeah. out. And you know, as a high tension naked wire <laughs> Must do as we. <laughs> and, uh, I know that you also spoke about the fact that you know you represent diversity. Yeah. And so tell me, uh, talking about that, your music, mm. who does it cut across to? Who are your your, your main audience? Lebanon, Nigeria, all the world. It's Nigeria. It's okay. Lagos. Basically Lagos Nigeria. primarily. Right mm. now, I want to make sure that, you know, we go blue from from home first. Okay. That is For Lagos. Real. Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Because you know, I have I have in the past I attempted to go uh, and do you know for Yankee mm. for things like that. But it's not special, nothing like that. Everybody's doing that style. Everybody's mm -hmm. doing something. I wanted to do something that was special. Different. Something that stands out, that is art. Mm -hmm. And this whole project of yes. Oibo Rebel is an art piece. It's an ongoing mm -hmm. installation. It's not a, the whole thing that you're you are, you are feeling through it is, mm -hmm. is a whole vibe, you know? I've wondered when I hear the name Oibo, I'm like, okay, we know what Oibo means. And then Rebel, mm -hmm. we know what Rebel means. <laughs> So yeah. why the Oibo Rebel and how did you get that name or how did you put okay, it together? Okay, so back in uh, 2007, mm. growing up in Lagos, I had a, a, one of my best friends was a bouncer at the time, mm. uh, Philip, shout out Philip. Mm. He used to call me Oibo Rebel. Mm. When I came back and started doing the project, mm. project again, I just saw it in my mind mm. that this name, this was going to blow up and mm. it's going to do something for me that it has never done before. Done it was before. a a clairvoyant moment. Mm -hmm. I just knew that God had put this name into mm -hmm. my life for something to happen. Mm -hmm. And then some people followed up with the name yes. and all this, you know. Sometimes I wish I put Oimbo. Instead of Oibo. Oibo, but okay. the whole point of Oibo is that it, it was supposed to be like a slang, mm -hmm. you know, because the, the Igbo, they say Oibo, mm -hmm. which without the yeah. end. But the real, when I, you know, I started studying my name more and I understand, Okay, because I'm I'm such a real. I like to be real. Mm -hmm. I like to be intense. Yeah. Whenever you see my content, you will know this guy. It's not a joke because somebody to, to take time, time. And passion yeah. to do something. It really needs to mean something to mm -hmm. me. But. <laughs> But talking about collaborations, who are some of the Nigerian artists? First of all, you know, you know, you like to collaborate with before we even go international in Nigeria. Who are some of the artists that you look up to and you're like, ah, I like to have a song with this uh, person? Um, I mean, all the boys, you know, mm. they, I would. I, just really wanted Ajibo Hustlers, mm. you know, Fireboy. Yeah. Joe Boy. You know, Joe Boy would be nice too. Yeah. Lamy Day, obviously, mm. you know, some of the greats. Mm. Thames, yeah. I don't know, man. You know, just a lot. Ladipo, I've, I've talked to him. Ladipo is doing really well. He's actually doing really well. Amazing. Thank you so much, Oyibo oh, Reba. And you know what? I have a big surprise on Joe because mm -hmm. he has a new song. And he's yes. going to be performing that song right here for us. <laughs> so I want you to give us a freestyle and then he's going to take over and give you a performance because yes, I love yes. you guys. So this is my gift to you all. Over to you. Let's go. Taombi, Cameroon, Pepe, anywhere, Taba, Won, Waleba, Mitaka. Hey, Elo, Sakbe, Jemo, Woki, Letiri, Tefe, Mafi, Gagbaga. I need to go. I need to go. Problem not the finish. Mama, Jaye, Mama, Jaye. Teba, Kwa, Nikelo. If you want to come a bebo, I run your one shit till 
Bon fait try la t-stop, ouais. Ton passe sur ma check, yeah. Là, là, elle est bloquée, ni que bata, bah bon, y'a pis chercher le crop, ouais. Lâche le bout du bout, c'est l'ac, bah, déjà. Ah, ouais, non, le man, ça, ouah, bah. Et ni bah, fait, j'y a l'écho, a fait ses chats d'écho, là, tu l'as, quoi, déjà. Il m'a dit, non, ça, il chez, you know. Ton bah, moi, you know, go, go. On fait coucher, yes, on no, et ma ouah, faut du tout faire play, yek, ça, no. Aïe, do, aïe, do. Je ne peux pas me définir, 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 je ne peux pas me définir,